welcome to another fata fat chutney with your washef and today we're going to learn how to make eggplant that is a brinjal with dry coconut chutney so first for this i'm going to cook the eggplant separately and just take some oil and i've cut the eggplant just put it in the water so they don't discolor in the oil we're going to add this eggplant and add pinch of salt and we're going to cook it in between we're going to mix it but we want to make sure that the eggplant is cooked till it is soft i'm going to take another pan first in this pan i'm just going to add dry coconut just cut them into lengths i'm going to cook this till you can see slight brown coloring on this that will give a very nice flavor and aroma to this chutney and dry coconut is usually much sweeter hmm so i'm going to let this cook and while this um, coconut is getting cooked here just i'm going to make sure that this eggplant is mixed once in a while so it's nice and fried well look at the coconut it is slightly colored brown that is when we're going to take this in a plate now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients and uh, cook them so first red chilies coriander seeds also in this if you want you can add little bit of oil not too much just very little oil and uh, oil helps these things roast much faster and also evenly roast them and this is slightly roasting in this we're going to add cumin seeds sesame seeds and also we're going to add tamarind and in this we're going to add some turmeric and switch off the flame okay and take all of these ingredients along with the coconut and first once this cools down we're going to put in the blender and make into a coarse powder now look at this this has become a nice powder and now the eggplant is also become nice soft just the eggplant you don't need to um, you know add the oil also in this just the eggplant and now you're going to make this into a coarse paste again you don't have to add water or anything just make sure there is enough salt that's the reason why i told you check the salt now add it some salt and now we're going to just run the blender for a second and your chutney will be ready now you should be able to see the eggplant pieces so do not make it into a paste just run the pulse once so that all the masala coats the eggplant and this is what is an awesome you know chutney uh, look at this awesome chutney if you want to add you can also add tempering but i don't see the need but if you want to add a little bit of that crunch you can add and you can just serve it with rice ha 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 even with rotis especially jowar ki roti or things like that this will taste really good pieces of eggplant in this just mix it with rice and enjoy what is very awesome about this chutney is you know just make it before you eat and you will get the nice crunchy texture even if you fry all the things you know fry the eggplant and keep it ready just before serving put in a blender or even you know crush it in a ding chick this will come out just awesome nice crunchy crunchy just like gunpowder eggplant chutney mm it's just awesome you know it reminds me of nice wangi bath and um, what a flavors what a flavor mm you know you have to make this so you enjoy as much as i do here is the place where you can get chutneys whether it's for breakfast lunch or dinner or any snack and this is just outstanding mm mm